This video is sponsored by Dashlane. If you never want to forget a password again and want to know how you can get it free on your first device, uh, stick around. So quick story before I yell at y'all. So maybe about a couple months ago, I was talking to a homeboy, catching up as homeboys do. And as the conversation progressed, he asked me if I'm finally dating someone. The dude with the YouTube channel, all about it. Usually the answer is no, so that was fair. But slightly attacked, I tell him, I'm dating this girl from our hometown, things were going pretty good. We've gone a couple dates downtown, I think, like, this is going well. And he's happy for me. This exchange was finished. I got emotional approval. He got to be all up in my business. It was cool. Pretty normal stuff, right? Well, I wasn't, wasn't done though. I then say, I hope it works out, but there is this other girl I'm dating who's pretty cool too. She, <laughs> boom. My dude looked at me like, I slapped his mom's ass. He stared me dead in the face. So you're cheating? <sighs> no. Mm. Almost said the N-word on recording. Because I actually did in that moment. It's okay, he was black. It wasn't, it was cool. I this video is not about cheating. It's more real because I clapped. Oh, but Kurt, the title's about you justifying cheating. Why it's okay to date multiple people? Well, first off, wrong. You should expect better from me, or I guess worse. And you know that was the case? Black men don't cheat. I tweeted that and everyone agrees that I'm not lying, so I'm right. What this whole thing is really about is y'all. This is an intervention for you. Break out the banner, this is for y'all. Now, I don't think everyone understands what the word dating means. Or for a matter of fact, what any of the steps leading to a relationship really mean. So everyone take a seat, like this is high school because I'm about to learn yet. But instead of learning about the water cycle, we're gonna learn about something with a lot more water involved. The relationship flow chart that water is tears. All right, so before we get to the meat of this, I have to like explain what the relationship water cycle is. Basically, the process of getting into a relationship is a surprisingly linear one, starting from point A and ending at point B. No matter what, you will start here, and no matter what, you will end here if things go all the way. But whether you go straight through or skip steps is completely up in the air. Just like life, you're probably gonna be born and most likely you're gonna die. You go to school and get a real degree for real people or end up making YouTube videos on the internet. Regardless, me and homeboy are gonna die. Same thing, really dark analogy, but we're gonna roll with it. So we're gonna go through this chart, try to figure out how it works and figure out its stances on commitment. You know, while we're at it, I'll throw in a rank for each of them on a tier list because what's understanding our feelings without a little segregation. So before we start, any questions? Uh, yes, a lot of questions. What are we even doing? I was just told that would be snacks. Yeah, none of those were actual questions. I mean, like, real questions. Yeah, what makes you qualified to talk about this? So to start the lesson, the first phase of this whole thing, being alone neutral. Ironically enough, probably the best one. People always say being alone is lonely, but I beg to differ. It's only lonely if you're lonely. Y'all not ready for that truth yet. Put on a shirt. This phase is for the people who are single, but hold on are okay with it. Whoa, whoa. We're totally cool with the place you are in life. You don't need more from someone else. Everything's simple. All you really need is to be able to go outside and like snacks and I think you're good. But the problem with that is that it sounds oddly familiar to being like a middle schooler or very geriatric, like very geriatric. Loving, fulfilling relationships? What's that? I literally don't know because my brain hasn't know. developed the concept or forgot it because I have dementia. And to me, that's kind of depressing. I don't know, it hurts to know that middle school me was the most emotionally stable I'll be. Like, that can't be good. Like, why is me pooping my pants a trait that runs parallel with inner peace? I don't like that, personally, I don't know. And I was just saying that because I think I won't ever reach that point in life. I know I won't. I think we're just undervaluing the value of being happy on your own. Like, dude, being happy with someone else is cool, but that costs money and in time. And if you're into him long enough, you have to tell the government. Like, why do I have to tell Donald Trump I like this person a lot? Like, I, that's weird. It's gonna get tough eventually, so just throw the whole concept out the window. Be alone, yeah. I don't like that I peaked at 10, so uh, 10 out of 10 for age, uh, A tier, A for age. Next up, being alone two. Electric Boogaloo, AKA being single with ads. All right, remember how three seconds ago I said being alone is great? Well, we gotta put a dummy, dummy thick asterisk on this bad boy. Like being single and being fulfilled with your life, that's cool, cool, glad, happy for you, dog. Now let's take out the fulfillment and replace it with the longing need to connect with someone. This is a common phenomenon 
known as depression. I'm unconvinced that wanting to not be alone is trash. Like conceptually, looking for someone is a great idea. The excitement of the chase, you're always looking for someone to accidentally look you in the eyes and then you look away, but you're pretending you're married while it's all going on. But once you add that dash of true loneliness, that fun, it hurts. It's awful. You feel like you're missing something all the time. Like, you know when you're about to take a bite of something to eat and then it falls on the ground and you feel that missing bite not in your mouth? That's what this is at all times. Is a bite perpetually on the floor. I'm not high enough level of a masochist yet to just roll with it. <laughs> if you can't tell, you can tell with... You can see what, what phase I'm at. I mean, I tweeted I wanted to be alone, but I'm lonely, and all my friends asked me if I was okay. This has nothing to do with the video. Just thought I'd say that. A D tier for don't get a Hulu subscription. Following that is, is muddled because not a lot of people know this, but we get into the interested in phase. I'm good at naming things. This is a phase where you're seeing this person might be someone who could waste your time and your down. Someone you're interested in getting to know. You see what I did there? You see, the, it's, the, it's the same word as the name. You're not necessarily texting them every night, but you have someone in your sights, and the idea that something can come of it is, is, pretty, is pretty cool. And actually, this is the first good phase going into this pit of hell, mostly because it doesn't have the obsession that we're barreling towards in the next couple minutes. So that's a win in my book. It's just a clean maybe. And that's the level of non-commitment I've been on my whole life. But you have to be wary, because this phase is like your mom asking you if you need to go to the bathroom, for a four hour ride. Because if you don't take care of it now, you're gonna have a big problem in your pants pretty soon. Very strong B tier for Brillo pad. Now the next phases get a little annoying. It's hard to prepare for something like what's to come. So since I can't gird you up emotionally, uh, how about we gird up um, your passwords? <laughs> so let me talk about this video sponsor Dash Lane, the only sturdy relationship I currently have. In the upcoming phases, you might be about to lose a lot of sleep over girls or guys or whatever you're into. But something you really don't want to lose is your bank account. Relationships don't mean much if your, you know, identity's stolen. But don't worry, it's cool because you can change all that with Dash Lane, your one stop shop for keeping all your online stuff your online stuff. Dashlane manages all your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one because we've got a lot on our mind, like our emotions. And through that, it keeps you safe and secure and lazy. And I'm down for all three. Not to mention Dashlane has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information and credit cards, saving you time shopping online. And it's got a VPN to prevent people from tracking and helping you access content anywhere. Hello, Canadian Netflix, my good friend. Plus, it's got dark web monitoring. So you can see if your information is being bought or sold illegally, which is like, that's gotta feel really nice. <laughs> and even better, Dashlane's like that girl that you want to bring around your friends because she's compatible with everyone. She's cool with your Apple homies, your PCs, Android people, Chrome browsers, even that weird friend who uses Safari, like they, they get along. And if all that sounds great, even better, it's discounted. <laughs> so if you want to get Dashlane free on your first device too, I, come on, free, free? Go to dashlane.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie and use my promo code Kurt Ritchie to get 10% off if you want to upgrade the premium. The only D girls and guys need in their life, uh, Dashlane. Uh, <laughs> After that, people typically get into the next phase, hell crushing, which if you didn't know, is not like my favorite like phase. I won't kill this topic because I made a whole 10 minute dissertation on the whole thing, but in a nutshell, imagine an ass's ass that's covered in asses. There goes my monetization, but I don't care. That's how much I don't like crushes. Crushing is a one-sided thing, or at least a perceived one, that deals in infatuation. Instead of, yo, this person is cool, I like to hang with them more, it turns to, yo, this person's cool, I'd like to only think about them, ever. The person's on your mind all the time, and they can affect your mood with, like, a sentence or a picture with another dude. That should be illegal. You see your crush with another dude? Hour nap. Not to mention, chances are you're not even taking this person out. You just like them from afar, like a stalker. You're stalking. My brain thinks this person I barely know yet shouldn't be allowed to talk to other people, which if you can't tell, isn't the most healthy thing, you know? You know, and there's not really a good way to fix it either, other than getting with them or moving on to someone else, which is an awful fix. Like, okay, my finger's broke. So the best way to alleviate the pain now, as you can see, the other one's healed now. So for that, uh, F tier for finger broken. 
middle. Now that we've overcome, or hopefully skipped hell, after that is talking. The much more reasonable phase. All right, so somehow we've identified that either this person or your crush might be interested in you in the same way that you are, or at least is sending like very good mixed signals your way. Congrats, you're in the talking phase, which is exactly what you think it would be by looking at the name you text. Because although this is my favorite stage, it is named after the things I hate the most. So life, life works like that, I guess. This section is cool because there's some level of mutual affection, but I mean, granted, People say they're talking to a person and they don't even know your name like that. So it, like it's hit or miss, which makes the whole crushing thing a lot more relaxed or, or at least appeased, but significantly less because they text you now. You'll know they like you, but it's an option, so it's fair. Here, I'm just getting to know your personality well enough to think, should I go out in public with you? It's casual, so I'm gonna give it an A for A, we're, we're talking. I, I'm slowly degrading with the with the letters here. And finally, we've made it to the titular phase after talking, dating. Well, just like talking, it's it's in the name. Not as a joke this time, like for real. I've decided, yo, you're pretty cool. I've tricked you into thinking I am too. Let's go out and do things and see if this sticks. I.e. dating is the exploratory phase to find out if we want to continue. There isn't necessarily any commitment involved yet because this is you actually taking the person out and testing the waters. Not just to compare women to items for the second time on this channel, but I'm really bad at analogy, so I'm gonna have to roll with it. It's like if I see this dope hoodie that I've been eyeing for a while. I've done the research, I peeped the size, and now I'm gonna take it to the fitting room to try it on. It's a real close, intimate period between me and the hoodie. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you move on, no harm, no foul. This is the free trial relationship, just me and you and some chicken tenders, how we feel about it. And because of that, you can be in this phase with more than one person. You're just testing. You can test multiple things. It's like Target lets you bring in multiple hoodies into the change room. I can date multiple girls. Target is the premier place for dating analogy. What people usually do is use the word dating for the next phase. But bear in mind, this is a long phase. And although it isn't cheating, when we get deeper into dating and into the next phases, that's when we might get into some cheating territory. But this list is long enough, and this video's been going for on for a while, so I'll finish the timeline because there are more steps than this. And, you, and, and you'll see, I guess, so yeah. Ooh, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, No Face Richie, because I'm just that. I'm sorry, it's like 1 a.m. and I'm really tired and I gotta like get this up. Yeah, so if you like that video, go watch uh, Why Your Soulmate Doesn't Exist. Uh, we're always on it with the uh, very nihilistic approach here on the channel. And if y'all want me to do part two, please let me know in the comments, very crucial. Um, but I'm, everything's picking back up for me. Uh, I'm, I'm like, things are going all right. So this is the time to hop on the train. So I would, you see the scroll, uh, join the Patreon. Uh, I'm going back over that and everything. So um, yeah, everyone, God, I'm so tired. None of this makes sense. Thank y'all for watching. It means the world to me. Uh, much love. Uh, take care. No face Richie. Yeah. <laughs>